The bell has tolled. We must act. It's not time for fear. It's time for action. These were the words with which the Commission President, Jean-Claude Juncker, opened his State of the Union speech in Parliament today. As he outlined his ambitious vision to step up sport for refugees and solidarity with Greece, Italy and Hungary, who are all struggling with the dramatic inflow of those seeking safe harbour. The equivalent of one third of Birmingham's population have attempted to cross the Mediterranean on rickety boats in the last eight months. Cameron has this week announced the UK will take 20,000 Syrian refugees by 2020. Too little and too slow. President Juncker said today, Europe is the baker in Kos who gives away his bread to hungry and weary souls. Europe is the student in Munich who brings clothes for those arriving. Europe is the policeman in Austria who welcomes exhausted refugees. This is the Europe I want to live in. If you are left with the impression that the British people are a race apart and not European, let me assure you I have received hundreds of letters from constituents asking for us to do more. Take Catherine from Worcester who wrote to me saying, we must stand side by side with those fleeing the Syrian war. Or Tracy from Rugby who said, if people need help, they need help. It doesn't matter where they're from. Or Will from Tamworth who asked me to just do one thing, stand up in Parliament and demand we put in place a system that allows refugees from Syria, Iraq and Libya a safe refuge. I'm glad to say to all of you that with your backing I did just that. I voted in favour of the Commission's emergency proposal that would finally allow us to take decisive action. It is naive to think that if we close our borders we will not be affected. EU or no EU. In today's globalised world if others take a hit we do too. Don't let UKIP fool you otherwise. Now, whilst migration has dominated the headlines, my inbox has been inundated on the animal cloning issue. Thank you to all of you who wrote. I can assure you that I called for an EU-wide ban on cloning of farm animals. Tories and UKIP, sadly, voted against, contributing to blocking this important ban. But it's not all doom and gloom for animal rights. Thanks to the EU ban on trade in seal products in 2009, two million seals have been saved from barbaric deaths. But there were shortfalls in the legislation, which we managed to tackle with a large majority. Thanks to this strengthened EU ban, seals will no longer be clubbed or shot and left to bleed to death. And of course, your economic and social well-being hasn't slipped under the radar either. This week, we voted for simpler administration for family businesses in the EU. They are vital motors for our economy. And with 750,000 young people out of jobs in the UK and government not tackling this, we called for EU education strategies that give youngsters the tools to succeed in life. As Malala continues to empower girls through education, in my constituency and across the world, I called on the Commission to widen access and participation for women in science and technology. We also demanded that the European Union takes action to tackle abusive zero-hour contracts. All issues in which the EU can be a powerful force for positive change if we all pull in the same direction. Let's fight to keep the UK part of this. That's all for now. Until next time, goodbye.